later. Well, could you help me place this? Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug, and I'm back with another fountain pen video. And thank you in advance for liking and subscribing. It really helps support what I do. And don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that's what I want to talk about today, when I post videos. For the last two years or so, I've been posting videos every Wednesday and Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific time. Those of you who have been following my channel will know that I tend to add extra content. One could argue isn't precisely fountain pen related. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? What? Why? In other words, I just don't hit record and film a review and then post it on YouTube. Some of you have asked for a video on how this particular sausage is made, and I'm planning on doing a video like that in the near future. But suffice it to say, each of these videos is very time consuming. It generally takes me about 16 hours of writing, filming, and editing to make one of my reviews. And that means 32 hours a week to create two videos, not including the time it takes me to answer every one of your comments. So you know where this is leading, I think. I've decided to reduce the number of videos I produce a month from eight to six. I'm not going to post videos at all on Wednesdays anymore, and instead, every other Sunday, I'm going to post a very special video. I've decided to start giving back, and I'm going to give away one of my fountain pens every other Sunday. I was saving a fountain pen giveaway contest for when I reach 5,000 subscribers, which should happen in the next month or so. But I'm going to start today, and I'm not going to dig through my drawers for a $5 pen that I just wanted to get rid of anyway. No siree, Bob. Hey, good morning, fellas. Good morning. Huh? You know, this car is a classic now. They just don't make them like this no more. No siree, Bob. No siree, Bob. I'm going to give some of my favorite pens away. Pens where I have duplicates or different finishes of the same model. I'm not even going to tell you in the titles which pen it might be. Off the record, on the QT, and very hush, hush. You'll have to watch the video and answer a skill testing question to qualify. As usual, I will be posting a fountain pen video every Saturday. So for today's Saturday video, let's find out what pen a lucky subscriber is going to win right now. So these pen giveaway videos are going to be structured a little differently. Each of the pens I give away every other Sunday will be a pen I've already reviewed. Instead of doing the review over again or just cutting an old video, I'll show the pen, talk about what I like about it, show some size comparisons and measurements, and then do a short writing sample. Oh, and by the way, if you're taking a look at my new Star Trek badge, this is from Lower Decks. It is a 3D printed com badge designed and printed by my son, James. And you can find other interesting 3D printed pieces of Star Trek, Star Wars, and other geeky things. This has a magnetic catch on the back that you can apply to your shirt. He just gave this to me yesterday. Very interesting. You can find it on his Etsy store, which I will link in the description. And you can also find some other cool pen-related 3D printed geeky stuff there as well. The Fountain Pen Giveaway Contest rules are simple. Just be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment below. You have 72 hours from when the video is posted to add your comment before I randomly select a winner and make an announcement in a pinned comment and on my community page. If the winner doesn't contact me by writing me with their name and address by that time, I will select another winner. My email address is listed in the description. Of course, I reserve the right to refuse to ship to locations in the world unreachable or cost prohibitive by Canada Post. Every day I deliver it, every day I deliver it, every, 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 so best I be foolish, so best I try to jerk us, Canadian Union, a postal worker. There's no point in spending $100 to give away a $30 pen, in my opinion. And now, finally, to the topic at hand, which pen will be the first on the block to go? 
As you can see here, I've accumulated quite a collection of pens. Doing two pen reviews a week for two years will do that. And I have to add that I will not by any means give away a pen that has been given to me as a gift. Those pens will remain with me forever because they mean something more than just the pen. I have two almost identical pens that have exactly the same nibs, write beautifully, and are a pen model that is very, very popular. These are my Wingsong 699s in translucent blue. They look almost identical and have identical Wingsong number no. 6 size steel nibs. The only difference between these two pens is one is a piston filler and one is a vacuum filler. I got the vacuum filler first. Of course, the Wingsong 699 vacuum filler is modeled after the Pilot 823 fountain pen with the exception that the 823 doesn't come in this beautiful blue only in gray and amber smoke if pilot had an 823 in this beautiful blue i'd be all over it like a fat kid on an m&m all right i got a bowl of cereal that's m&ms and dr pepper over here which one do you think i'm giving away since the vacuum filler seems to have ink in it and the piston filler does not you might assume that I'm giving away the piston filler, and you'd be correct. Let's take a look at this pen for a moment. I'll link in the comparison video I did of the vacuum filler versus the piston filler version in the description, and I've just taken another look at that video myself. There was a lot of swapping going on as this piston filler here came with the wrong nib. The seller sent out the correct medium nib immediately, but while I waited for it, I swapped another Wingsung medium nib into it from a Wingsung 670 that I had. So I could write with the pen and do a review. Now my vacuum filler, which I received first, uh, had a fine nib in it. And I didn't really like that nib so much. And the pen was fairly unused to that point. When the correct medium nib arrived from my seller, I put it in this vacuum filler. So now both pens have the same nib and they both write beautifully. I favored the vacuum filler over the piston filler because of the shutoff valve the vacuum filler provides. In writing, these pens are identical. I love the size and the shape of this pen. I love this translucent blue color. It reminds me of that beautiful translucent blue of the Platinum 3776 in a sharp blue. One thing I mentioned in my previous review that I don't like is the solid blue of the end finials and of the section on this pen. It isn't so much that it's solid blue uh, and not transparent blue, just the fact that the blue doesn't exactly match the blue of the rest of the pen. You probably can't see it on camera but there is a subtle difference in the hue of the blue. That being said, the pen is very comfortable in the hand, both posted and unposted, and the section is a good size, and these cap threads here are barely noticeable at all. In fact, if you close your eyes, you can't feel them as threads. This piston mechanism works smoothly with no issues whatsoever and the pen takes a good amount of ink at 1.6 milliliters. The section is removable, so you can get at that ink chamber for cleaning and maintenance, and the piston assembly can be disassembled if needed. I wouldn't recommend taking that piston mechanism apart unless absolutely necessary, however, because it is a bit of a challenge to get back together again so that piston uh, moves to the correct locations and that piston knob closes down all the way. Trust me, I know this from experience. Why don't you just call tech support? Hey. Now let's look at some size comparisons. Here is the Wingsung 699 piston filler with a Twisby Diamond 580, a Wingsung 626, a Leonardo Ferrore, and a Pen BBS 308. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. All of these pens are number six size steel nibs, except for the Twisby, 
580, which is a number 5 size. The 699 and the Twisby are the only two piston fillers here. The rest are cartridge converters. In terms of posting, the Twisby, it hangs on there, but it's not stable, and I don't consider it posts. Same thing with the 626. It's wobbly on there. It doesn't really uh, sit on that pen nicely at all. The Leonardo uh, posts very nicely, and the 308 is the best poster in the group, as far as I'm concerned. Now let's look at some measurements, and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back for the writing sample with the Wingsong 699 piston filler. Since I've already cleaned this pen out, I'm going to dip the pen into the ink for this sample. So this is the Wing Sung 699. It's a number six size steel nib. And this ink is a Roshizuku. Iro. Here are some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com. This pen is plenty juicy and is as smooth as glass. The line is 0.7 millimeters, which is a Western, medium to broad, and a Japanese broad. This pen is very smooth and a very nice writer. It's a very stiff nib. Not much line variation out of this. So to win this pen, simply be a subscriber and leave a comment below. I'll give you a topic to discuss, although any comment at all is a contest entry. So here's your topic. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> what do you prefer? A piston filler or a vacuum filler. And why? And there you have it. Get those comments posted and make sure you check to see if you are the winner. 72 hours from now, which will be Tuesday, April 27th, when I'll make the announcement in a pinned comment and on my Communities tab. Good luck to you all. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you... for watching... And that's all she wrote.